Tombstone, Arizona Territory, November 1, 1881. Stuff. Half day, maybe. Blink what I had to check. <laughs> just can't wait to blow the dust out, eh, son? After six weeks of this, you're right. <laughs> yeah, just don't forget it's only a stopover. You'll save your head of steam when we get this herd to the fort. Fill our army contract. <laughs> sure, Bob, anything you say. Just a little bit of steam in Tombstone. <laughs> About ten miles to go, Sam. Yep. Can't be any too close for Tully. How's he holding up? Like a booster should. This drive will simmer him a little low. He's sure looking forward to train Tombstone. So am I, Sam. So am I. An actual account from the pages of my newspaper, the Tombstone Epitaph. This is the way it happened. In the town too tough to die. Stone Territory. The afternoon of November 1, 1881. Sam Brewster and his trail drivers finally bedded the herd and rode for Tombstone. Come on, Sam! Come on, Whitey! Come on, Whitey! Come on, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I don't relish your job today, Clay. Not with Brewster's crew. Oh, Sam Brewster's been in town before. Charlie and I always manage to keep him in line. It's always the first time. It's too bad there isn't a special street somewhere off in the desert just for cowhands coming in off a long drive. Might save a lot of wear and tear on a town. Yeah, but I don't think the business interests in Tombstone would appreciate it. Looks like it's time for you to start protecting their interests. All right, see you around. All right, Sam. Have your boys check the guns. Don't want to get anybody hurt. And the town's yours. Now, oh, boys, let's do what the man says. I don't go naked for nobody. Right out to where you came in. Who ever heard of no guns in a town? You're a new face, mister, so I give it to you straight. When you look like trouble, you check your guns, and you look like trouble. So step down and check your hardware. Check them, boys. We're wasting time. It looks like somebody's finally gonna get you to take off them guns. There's more than one place to carry a gun. <laughs> Come on. Looks like we almost had trouble. Early yet, Mr. Clyburn. Early. Simmer down, boy. You're not going anywhere. Charlie? Kind of. Just saw Sam Brewster sending two wagon loads of supplies out to his camp. <laughs> you just boys sure spread cash when they come in. So long as that's all they spread. Well, I figured things were getting too quiet. Fight's over. It's about time you showed up, Sheriff. Look at the place. You all right, Tully? 
Yeah. What about the damage you did? What about it, Sam? Your boys play kind of rough. Okay, Hollister. My crew's wrecked better places than this, and I've always paid up. What covers it? Oh, I'd say about 300. Including the two holes I've put in the ceiling. Pay them off and then get your boys out of town. They've had their fun. Big talk when you've got the guns. Could be, mister, but that's the way it is. Pay up and move out. Let's get out of this town. Remember the name, lawmen. Link Thompson. Maybe someday I'll be caught on the hand. Make sure you can handle it if you do. Sure glad to get rid of them. Paperwork. I better get with it. I'll make the rounds for you. Thanks, Charlie. Hey, Lane. Where's Tully? Beats me. I thought he was holding up the rear. I'll go back. Better ride along with you. There might be trouble. No, we're too short-handed as it is. May as well get the herd moving. It's cooling off and get some miles on them. No loss of weight. You're the boss. Tully and I will catch up. I sure would like to run into that sheriff again. I hope we don't run into any Indians. Got to get these cows to the fort. And then? Tombstone, maybe. No herd to worry about. Just sitting there waiting. I don't like it. This money's as good as anybody else's. The sheriff ain't gonna like it either. Maybe that's who he's waiting for. Wouldn't be any skin off my nose. Hey, Otis. Take it easy, Brewster. One fight a night's enough. Mm -mm. Not in my book. Not when somebody's holding my hands in the first one. That was an accident, kid. Come on, step up to the bar. Well, don't drink with a man that's got a yellow streak in him. You don't mean that. You've been celebrating. <laughs> so now a Texan can't even celebrate a little, huh? I better find Hollister, huh? Yeah. There! There, maybe you can use that for drinking. Better get out of here, Brewster. Hey, Ted. Yeah, Mr. Radcliffe. Nobody moves. I still got a little unfinished business here. It's finished now, Brewster. Cunningham. Who did it? Easy, Sam. He pulled a hidden gun. Charlie here had to shoot him. That's right, Brewster. It was self-defense. How is he? That's tough to say. That slug's gonna have to come out first. Call a doctor. I'll get one of Easy, my own. Easy, Sam. Charlie, get him over to Cunningham's. Can somebody help him? I'll help him.
You can't do any good over there, Sam. The doc knows his job. Dr. Cunningham's the best in the territory, Mr. Brewster. He better be the best in the territory, Hollister. He is. Because if my boy dies, I'll take this town apart to get that deputy. Wait a minute. He can't do that with self-defense. You don't know what you're saying, Sam. These are witnesses. You get this straight, Hollister. All of you. If my boy dies, my whole crew's coming back. And nobody checks our guns. That's a real quick-tempered man. I don't want any trouble out of you, Brocious. Not today. Trouble? Me? Why don't you get back to Gaileyville with your own crowd of thugs? Oh, things are getting a little tame up there. Yeah? Well, just stay in line. I have to. Curly Bill Brocious without a gun. Which is why I made you check it. Well, you know I don't start no trouble. I finished a little in my time. Is Brewster just talking, or did he mean what he said? His kind don't talk just to be heard. I got an idea you'll have something to print before this is over. It won't be a basket social. November 2, 1881. Tully Brewster lingered between life and death. Sam Brewster had ridden out of town, but his grim warning stayed behind and remained uppermost in the minds of a crowd that waited outside Dr. Cunningham's office. How's young Brewster? He's dead. Looks as if we're in for it. All of us. November 5, 1881. A sudden fear gripped Tombstone. The righteous element was doing an about face. Now it's like I'm telling you, Brewster has always brought a lot of business to this town, and I say, let's get rid of Charlie Riggs. What are you really worried about, Fred? Your store? Or let's be honest, your skins, if you have to back up your own law. And so that's the way I see it. Why should we stick our noses out to protect the deputy sheriff? <laughs> What's so funny? Well, I was just thinking how much better you'd like it if Clay Hollister was in that deputy's boots right now. <laughs> Town split wide open. Yeah, I know. Well, what do you intend to do? I'll be around. That's all I wanted to know. That's my lead for the paper. Oh, oh pardon me, Mr. Sure, Charlie. The mayor wants to see you over in his store. Might as well get it over with. Look, Clay. If this is what they want. Keep it, Charlie. You're my appointment, not theirs. You won't find a better piece of equipment. Excuse me, I have some official business to do. I'll be with you in a minute. Clay, I... I... Don't apologize, Fred. Just get to the point. Well, Clay, you know how it is. Ever since that boy died, everybody's been thinking, thinking that... Thinking what, Fred? You ought to get rid of Charlie? Well, if we do, maybe Brewster won't tear up the town, huh? Now, Clay, most of us have families. And that's why Tombstone wanted law and order. Isn't that what my office calls for, Mr. Mayor? Oh, Clay. Let me tell you something. As long as I wear this badge, Charlie Riggs stays as my deputy. Now, look, Clay, all we want... It doesn't matter what you want. Sam Brewster's calling the shots this trip.
What's on your mind, Radcliffe? A couple of us boys been thinking things over. We want you to get rid of your deputy. Well, I'll say this for you. At least you come right out with it. Let me tell you something. A town that won't fight for itself isn't worth fighting for. Tell us something else, Hollister. If you feel that way, why bother making it your fight at all? Well, you probably wouldn't understand this, Mr. Radcliffe, but I don't run from trouble. There goes the man, Radcliffe. As the days clocked off, the town showed its fear more and more. Tombstone wasn't as tough as it thought it was. Not yet, anyway. November 16, 1881, saw Link Thompson ride into town to get the word. And the word was on its way to Sam Brewster. How far behind do you think Brewster is? A couple of days, Charlie. No more. There's only one way to handle this, Clay. Yeah, Charlie? Tombstone's scared, Clay. I've never seen him like this. Oh, I've never had to face anything like this before. You were saying there's a way, Charlie? The way I look at it, Link Thompson's the key. Thompson? Yeah, he was almost smiling when he rode out of here. Smelled a big gunfight. If I stop him, Brewster won't ride in. You know that. Oh, whoa. Well, I think you're crossing the wrong stream. Brewster's running the show. Well, maybe, maybe not. Here's a partial rundown on Mr. Link Thompson. Some of the peace officers I wired came back with answers. Well, judging from these, he's as mean as he talks. Let's just say he's a killer. Well, I could tell he was a tough old lion, but... But this... We're wasting time, Clay. It's my job. I'm going after Thompson. Oh, and catch a rifle bullet. Look, Charlie, be smart. Don't you realize that Link isn't going to let you close enough to catch him before he gets the news back to Brewster? He's just aching for a brawl. Are you trying to say that Brewster would back down if it weren't for his gunslinger? Well, knowing Sam, I doubt it. Well, then I don't understand. But anyway, Link will keep Sam so needled that even if we had a chance to reason with him, we can't now. Well, then Charlie's right. You should have stopped Thompson from leaving when he rode in. On what grounds? Well, what about these? Well, the only problem with that is they've never been able to prove that it wasn't self-defense. Well, then we're right back where we were. That's right, Harris. To quote you with a scared town. We've got to do something about Hollister. He'll listen to you. We don't want Brewster's kind of trouble around here. That's right, Harris. It's too bad you two won't face the real issue. You want to see killings in this town? Whose side are you on, anyway? I am for Tombstone. That's the side the epitaph's on. I'll write the story either way. This town can hold its head high or down in the dust. The answer's up to you. I just got word from one of my boys riding through from Galeyville. Sam Brewster's on his way in. Oh? Said he saw him a couple miles behind him, coming in with his men. What's your interest in this, Brogius? Oh, no interest. Just sitting and watching. <laughs> Having a little trouble running the town, Sheriff? Don't you make any. May as well meet him outside of town. There's no point in having it happen on the streets. I'm with you there. You're staying right here. What are you talking about? All this is my fault. None of it is your fault. You are enforcing the law. Look, Charlie, you're being there just guarantee a shooting. Yeah, but look. You're I... staying here. It's an order. If 
you'll wait a minute, I'll get a horse. Well, Mr. Clyburn, if you were as good with the rifle as you are with the printing press, it'd be a pleasure, but uh, thanks just the same. Anybody else want to ride along? I do, Sheriff. I guess there ain't no argument about how I can use one of these now, is there? None whatsoever. There's your horse. Curly Bill Brocious riding with the law. This town ought to feel real proud of itself. I don't see Charlie riding. I guess the sheriff figures there's no sense asking for a shooting. Anyway, it'll take a lot of guns if the play starts. How about it? You know better than that. No sense talking. Let's give them what they gave you, boy. Deal your own hands, Sam. Nobody has to talk for you. I want that deputy. We're riding in. Into this? What kind of those... All right, boys, we're riding through. Good luck, Sam. Looks like I forgot one thing, Hollister. You can't fight a town. You called it. Now turn around and ride out. And take that with you. Get him patched up. Comes to a showdown, they stick together. Someone once said it much better than we can. Yes, sir. Wars make strange bedfellows. That's the way it happened. In the town too tough to die. Territory. A 
If your past has run afoul of the law, it's a handy place to be. Cause your future's just as good as your draw in Tombstone Territory. Whistle me up a memory. Whistle me back where I want to be. Whistle a tune that'll carry me to Tombstone Territory. Oh, <laughs> 